hello viewers this is Dikshit Kumar so let us create a 3d model using 2d drawing so you can note down the dimension here so given is a front and a top view so we will use solid edge to create a 3d model so let us start go to solid edge there you have to click on solid part go to named views they are set as ISO now go to protrusion coincident plane select top reference plane now using a rectangle draw a rectangle now take a smart dimension now you have to specify the dimension so this length is 60 mm on the other side it is 60 mm too so it is a square of 60 so I will make it symmetry to the center so this distance will be 60 by 2 that is 30 mm and this distance will be 60 by 2 30 mm now click on return now you have to set the distance for protrusion so the height given in the drawing is 20 mm just type 20 and enter then you have to click on the top side then you have to click on finish cancel now we again select protrusion coincident plane it is the face of the first protrusion again you have to create a rectangle now use smart dimension specify the dimension so it is a square of 40 so I'll make it as 40 and 40 symmetric from the center 40 by 2 and here 40 by 2 click on return the protrusion distance is 50 mm just enter and click click on finish cancel select cutout now select the front reference plane now using line tool you have to draw the cutting profile so I will start from here so you can follow this at the end make sure that the profile is closed properly click on return now select cutout symmetric extent just click now to do on the other side click on finish and cancel to do on the other side you have to click on mirror copy feature select cutout one from the tree now select mirror copy feature smart click on accept mirror copy feature accept or simply click on right click of the mouse now the coincident plane it is the right reference plane just click there click on finish now the mirror has been copied again select on cutout now the reference plane is right reference plane using line you have to draw the cutting profile So I'm joining this profile then click on return click on cutout symmetric extent just click click on finish cancel now select mirror copy feature select cutout 3 
select mirror copy feature smart click on accept now select the front reference plane you can see the cutout is copied click on finish so the model is complete now you can see here just you can rotate now set as ISO now save the file so we'll save it in a separate drive so I will create a new folder and I will rename as solid part click on ok so I will change the file name as 2d1 just click on save now I'll close this window I will go to drawing environment right click on that sheet 1 click on sheet setup the background set as a4 sheet untick on show background click on ok click on fit now go to drawing view wizard there you have to pull down that drawing 2d1 pull down the model actually model click on open now click on next set as front and finish so just paste on the drawing sheet so this is the front view now go to principal view just click on the front view and pull down click and pull down so it will generate a top view again from the same front view using principal view you have to generate the isometric view just click and pull down so this is the isometric view now use select tool you can place anywhere in the drawing sheet after this you have to apply the dimension using smart dimension so I will specify the dimension whatever given in the question 60 40 height 20 and this height it's 50 also you can specify the dimension on isometric view now if you want to modify the dimension you have to click on select tool now you have to select on that dimension select the dimension go to select tool prefix there you should click on prefix then click on the square character click on ok now click on that 40 click on prefix again prefix insert the square symbol click on ok now you can see it has made converted into 40 square and 60 square now to write the text you can use text you can increase or decrease the font just click and type now it is a front view this is the top view and this is the isometric view so that's it we have converted the 2d drawing into 3d part and I have specified the dimension thank you for watching